Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I am going to be demonstrating how to set up the accessibility options for Adobe Reader 11. Now just quickly, Adobe Reader 11 is probably the world's most frequently used software for accessing PDF documents, which is why we're going to be looking at it today. And another reason why we're going to be looking at the, the accessibility options within it is because in a later video I'm going to be taking you through how JAWS accesses PDF documents. So obviously for that we, I'm going to be running JAWS and I'm also going to be running the Adobe Reader software. So let's go straight into it. Open it up and let's to get into the setup for the accessibility we're going to press the Alt key to get our shortcuts up then the E key to get into the edit menu the Y key at the bottom to get into accessibility and the S key. Now I'm using Adobe Reader 11 if you're using previous versions of Adobe Reader such as 10 or 9 I don't think this whole process has changed much so it's relevant for the latest versions of Adobe Reader. Okay the first one is all about what you want to set the accessibility options up for and the default setting is you want to set it up for all accessibility options but you could maybe just do it for screen readers or just for screen magnifiers or you could just use the recommended settings and skip the setup but I want to take us through so we can have a look at all of the um, the settings and then decide from there so I'm going to press alt and n to go to the second screen and this is all about your colors do you want to use high contrast colors for document text and then if you choose that, if we just if you just do the space bar on that, then you've got these different high contrast themes, green on black, yellow on black, white on black, or black on white. I think that's the most important setting on this screen. The next thing is about fields that you have on PDF documents or you have in PDF documents and how which color you want to use them to be highlighted and you've also got another option here about text smoothing and how that interacts with a high contrast text so we're just going to leave that as it is which is unticked we're going to leave the required field highlight color to red and the field highlight color to light blue as well and the final one here is do you want the keyboard selection cursor active in the document so you can have the keyboard selection cursor so you can see it or you can just leave it as it is which is invisible okay let's press alt and n and go to the next one now this again the most important thing the most relevant part of the accessibility for us is these three options here and this is all about the reading order. The default setting, the first one is that it will infer the reading order from the document um, which is the recommended setting or you might want it to read left to right, top to bottom or use reading order in something called a raw print stream and I don't know what that is but I would recommend that you leave it with this top one here. Now the next options here all relate to tagging documents which is um, a sophisticated way that some PDF documents can be set up and I just suggest that you just leave these these options here as they are which is a blank box here and then a tick box below. Right, let's press Alt N to go to screen 4. Now this is all about um, how exactly your screen reader is going to read um, the visible pages. And again, I think the default setting here, which is for large documents, only read the current visible page, is the most appropriate one. Other options is you can press read the uh, you can select read the entire document at once, which is probably a bit overwhelming, or only read the current visible pages. Um, and I would do that. I would select the last one for large documents. Only read the current visible pages. 
Now this next thing here is all about how the PDF document is displayed on screen and it says is recommended when you're using a screen reader you just want a single page displayed you don't want two pages at a time displayed or anything like that so I would just again leave that blank because it will just show a single page on the on the screen of the PDF documents and then the final one is all about the zoom control and again I would don't worry about overriding document zoom I would leave that blank and then you can always adjust it you can always adjust it when you're when you're working on the document and then our final screen here is all about the first one here is all about auto save and how it might interfere with assistive technology uh, sorry your assistive technology software such as JAWS um, so what you could do is you could select to disable auto save as you're creating a PDF or saving a PDF um, another good option here is when a document is reopened Adobe Reader can either open it f at the first page or at the last view page again that's up to you some people really like it when a document's opened where they last left it up off when they last left it other people like to go back to the beginning and the final option here is all about displaying PDF documents in a web browser um, which is it's always um, is, a, is a pretty pretty handy option because most people have the web browser open in any session that they're working on their computer anyway so there we go there are the five different screens screens for setting up the accessibility options within Adobe Reader 11 in a future video I am going to be working with JAWS within Adobe Reader and we're going to be using JAWS to move around the document and to read it as well hope you've enjoyed the videos any comments you have on it let me know